I like everything blue. Uh, so, you know, I like the work we did here for Caprock and it just, they show in visual processes. They show the visual, uh, the professional team, um, on the front page of the pitch deck is their one liner, mini pitch decks. They have a logo brand that means nothing. The next page is disclosure. The next page is table of contents. The next page maybe is an intro on their industry and you still don't know what they do. And you already spent five pages of their pitch deck and they don't have a one pager lots of times. So it's just really important to make things visual. You should be able to, if someone pulls up your one pager and they had just scanned their device to go get on their American Airlines flight, by the time they reach their seat, they should be able to text their executive assistant and say, yeah, let's have a short call. So they scanned, they looked at it, saw your one liner visual, said, oh, that's interesting. Let's have a call. If you can't do it that quickly, then your one pager is bad. And that's, that's the level you need to get it to. So I'm not going to read off every slide to you. You have access to these. These are just little points in case you're creating your pitch deck right now or you want to make sure you've done a thorough job um, reviewing it. A um, couple more insights here, just really, really simple things. Um, Steve Jobs always put a lot of effort into the design and the packaging of his devices because it imputes a value upon the thing inside. Of people will pay more for something that has a nice covering to it. You know, the W Hotel could have the same size rooms as a Marriott Courtyard, but you pay more at the W for many reasons. One, because it's wrapped in more expensive finishings. Um, and so making sure that what you present is at least professional, if not really polished and institutional uh, feeling along the way. Um, use icons, images, process, diagrams, and don't use blocky images in, in lots of uh, long paragraphs. Lots of materials are way too wordy. 